notice anything, just stop. Zach, Emily arranged for people to come between 1500 and 1700. We can't do anything here right now. Let's come back at the right time. I haven't been on stage like this since elementary school. I'm not some tree in the wind this time, either. Well, that was a tough role. I was a piece of scenery. Bright red tree. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming today. Getting right down to business. Agent Morgan from the Federal Bureau of Investigations wishes to speak with you. Good afternoon. I'm Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Some of you are already aware by now of the tragic murder of Anna Graham. Truly a heinous, terrible crime. I've come to this town to solve the murder of this young, beautiful girl. And to bring the one responsible to justice. I asked to have you gathered here so I can share some advice in order to minimize the risk of further fatal incidents. Firstly, please, stay away from any dark, dangerous, isolated places. Those of you with children, especially if honest, Secondly, avoid going out when it is raining. Now I heard the folklore story. There is a chance that the murderer is mimicking the story. Women should also be especially careful. I would hate to see more victims. Who's the fan? 
fashionably late one. That's Carol, Thomas's sister. She owns a bar. As I have said, avoid going outside when it is raining. Young women should be especially careful. Report anything or anyone suspicious immediately. The murderer will be caught and brought to justice. But you must all remain on guard until we do so. That's all I have to say. Thank you. sins we must not frown. The loss of Anna was for that debt. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, I fret. So says Mr. Stewart. how to steal thunder. Well then, Zack, let's ask some questions before all these guys leave. Agent Morgan, here's your chance to get to know some of the townsfolk. Don't let it go to waste. Agent York, your words really made me think about Anna's death again. How could one do such a terrible thing? I'm still in shock. Thomas, I forgot to ask. You don't have a tattoo on your back, do you? A uh, tattoo? Well, I do, actually. But why? Could you show it to me, please? What? Now? Here? Yes, please. This is vital for our investigation. Okay, if it's gonna help you any. <sighs> well, I'm wondering who G is now, but aside from that... Did it tell you anything? It told me that you didn't kill Anna. Of course not. What are you saying? You ought to see that tattoo, Zack. A big heart with an arrow through it and love G in the center. I don't know when you got that done, but I've all been through the 80s. Quite a performance. Mysterious and very poetic. But I don't think many of your audience appreciated it. Mr. Francis York Moore. The purple fog appears with rain, soiling and ruining our town. The evil does not drain. Find out why the town is soiled. Remove the source from which it boiled. Then and only then, your case is solved. But for this to happen, to solve the crime,
So says Mr. Stewart. So, Harry, you know something. But there's some reason why you can't tell me yet. Is that what you're trying to say? Cut the poetic rubbish, Harry, and tell us what you know. We can force you to talk, you know. Mr. Francis York Morton, pay close attention to the signs, the omens, and the premonitions. Small they may be, they still are finds, and helpful to your investigations. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning, Harry. But don't worry. Me and Zack, we know what we're doing. Agent York, are you finished asking questions yet? When you're done, let me know. We'll all get dinner. Good evening, Agent. Good evening, Mr... Brian, the gravekeeper. <clears throat> Brian. Mr. Brian, I like the retro look. Auditioning for Little Grave on the Prairie? Anna. Oh, she was so beautiful. Too soon. <clears throat> too, too soon to go to the grave. So sad. So sad. I totally agree. That's why I'm here. Looking for the one who did it. Were you close to her? Mm. Anna. <laughs> her smile. So warm. Anna. Blonde hair. So bright. There's a graveyard somewhere in town, Zack. I'm not excited about the idea, but maybe we should at least check it out. <laughs> 